Katie King is joining us for Manx National Heritage. It's a yearly feast. We've done this in the dungeons. We've done it in all sorts <laughs> of places in your National Heritage places. But we, you come to the studio today. Yet again, let me flick this and uh, we can uh, see the Isle of Man Heritage Open Days, which 5th to the 7th of October, not far away. So it's always a delight to talk to you because <laughs> there are so many fascinating things happening right on our doorstep, which people don't necessarily know about. And this is a great chance to get people involved. This, Over to you. This is, this is one of my favourite events of the year. I hope it's on people's calendars um, <laughs> nowadays. So it's the um, Isle of Man Heritage Open Days that I've come to talk to you about, which is the first two weekends in October. It's actually our ninth year, would you believe, of Heritage Open Days. And it's um, free events happening right across the Isle of Man for the first two weekends in October. So it is, we've encouraged people um, over the years to open up um, unusual buildings or to take walks, heritage related walks in the landscape or to explore all aspects of the island, Isle of Man that you perhaps wouldn't, wouldn't Oh yeah, and as I should point out, it's not just your your, your usual yeah. things, is it? This, this is what it is. It's, it's, it's much, much wider than yes, that. Yes, of course. So although Manx National Heritage administer Heritage Open Days, it really is a huge partner, volunteer partner um, organisation, Heritage Open Days mm. now. We have 45 partners taking part this year. I think it's the biggest number we've had. So that ranges from St Matthew's Church to Agony's Chapel to... Um, Charles Gard is doing tours of Government House. Oh, right. Um, we've got... From, from very, very big organisations like government, lots of government properties taking part this year. Um, our curator staff are leading tours on various um, things that you wouldn't normally get to see. Mm -hmm. There's tours of the Peggy in her conservation studio, um, so the Peggy from the Nautical Museum. So there's lots and lots of things happening and I'm here to talk about the drop-in events, events uh, that are just open all weekend that you can just go to and enjoy. And I should say, Year of Our Island, isn't it? All that sort of thing yeah, is so in cooperation with? People that are fans of, of the Year of Our Island um, brand this year, that's been working really well, getting people excited about different things each month. So October is Heritage Month. So we kick off with our fantastic Heritage Festival and then there's lots of events taking place as well right throughout the month of October to celebrate Year of Our Island. So this is the month to get your warm jacket on, to get your, your hat on <laughs> and go and explore some heritage landscapes. Okay. Well, Drop-in events and everything, is, is this what they need to pick up, one of these? Yes, so it's a weighty tome this year, it's, it's, big, it's the it? biggest event, it's the biggest programme we've put together, over 125 events like they say, yeah. um, 65 happening um, on both weekends or over, over both weekends and unfortunately once again our bookable events are nearly all sold out as we speak, there are a few so if you go on our website you can see which ones are still available. Manx National Heritage dot Yeah, yeah. What is it, com? Dot Manx com? National Heritage dot I am. I am, sorry. Okay. And you'll find Heritage Open Days there mm -hmm. but if I just turn this to show you Paul, mm -hmm. um, we have an absolute festival of drop-in events and I was having a look before I came up because I, I can't promote them all today but I have noticed that quite by coincidence we've got a lovely church theme running through this this year. So some of the highlights I want to celebrate for you are Agnes Chapel, which is not only a really interesting, fascinating little chapel, but it's got, got the most amazing cake. So people that have heard me talk about Heritage Open Days before know that I judge things on cake normally. Um, Foxdale Church are opening as well with, um, their, they've got guides on hand to talk about their fantastic silverware they've got there. Um, Kirk... Christ Russian Church is doing little doing tours. Doing well here. I know, doing little <laughs> tours. Yeah, well St Matthew's is opening as well, Trinity Church in Douglas. So lots of the churches are getting involved this year by putting on guided tours and Cathedral Isle of Man are letting you go up the tower, which I always think is fun, going yeah. up the tower and doing things like that. There's also little services in the evening that some of the smaller chapels are doing as well. So if you're interested in the history of um, churches on the Isle of Man, it's a good year for you. We've also got sort of old favourites. You can go and meet the horse trams, of course, meet the trammers. You can join our curator of archaeology on a walking tour of um, Moor Circle down down south, down in Craigneesh. Um, there's also, it's going to be very popular and it's non-bookable, so you can just turn up. It's a walking tour from Peel to Nakalo along the old um, railway line there oh. and talking about First World War internment at that camp. So um, that's it's, there's already quite a lot of interest in that. So H how do you get hold of this thing? So this is available at any Manx National Heritage site. You can pick one up or at the Welcome Centre. Is there a charge or...? No, no, it's all okay. free. Um, and it's also available digitally online. So what I would recommend is have a good look through because we know there's too much for you to do. You can't possibly do it all. Um, but do have a good look at it and try and plan out your weekend based on this. Um, based on cake. Oh, and I forgot one of my favourite churches. Because oh. uh, I just remembered that's what I'm going to do. Um, St Luke's Church, um, they're having a, a, 
a talk in the churchyard and then they're taking people on trips up to Old Timwood Hill. So it's a really, really beautiful location up there as well. So it's a really is a chance to to see stuff on your doorstep. You might normally think, mm. oh, I know all about the history of the Isle of Man. I've been to all these buildings before. But I must stress, you've got guides on hand and you've got experts at, on hand. And so you might think, I've always fancied going in that building. And you never know that one building you've always wanted to see might be open to see it.